The US Army has a requirement for a new generation combat vehicle to rephrase the Bradley. And at this year's AUSC Orion Metal has teamed with Raytheon to meet that requirement. And Raytheon can bring a lot to the table. Could you just run through some of the key subsystems that Raytheon can bring to the vehicle? Sure, thank you. Um, yes, some of the key elements that Raytheon will be bringing to bear is our uh, next generation FLIR, um, also known as third gen FLIR. We're also looking at bringing our next generation tow. We've got some other activity that we're doing with regard to our active protection system that we're in development in with the Army right now, um, which will bring a 360 coverage, as well as some of the uh, netted sensor systems that we do in some of our other business units that I can't talk anymore about with regard because of the classification. Yeah. And the tow is still the most widely deployed type missile in the world, and you've now got the extended range, which goes out to over 5,000 meters, I understand. Yes, that is correct. We are continuing to work with the Army customer as far as what kind of length and capability does the tow need to have, and to your point, it is one of the most widely used uh, international and domestic used ATGMs in the world. Yeah, and tow means tube launch, optical track, wire guided, but the new one is not wire guided. That is correct. Uh, the current version that we produce is a RF, so it no longer has the wire capability. Um, we continue to advance it as far as having that RF on board. One of the many subsystems that Raytheon can bring to the table is this multi-mode hostile fire detection system. Yes, that is correct. I mean, this is one of the, anything you see sitting here is some of the uh, technology that Raytheon has been developing independently as well as with the Army, and so this is absolutely one of the elements that we will uh, be working with Rheinmetall to integrate onto the vehicle. And this leverage is off the boomerang system, which is combat proven. That is correct. That and you mount this on the top of the vehicle to give you 360 degrees coverage. Yes, yes. And the integration is the key to a vehicle, and you can bring a lot of that to the table. Yes, I mean, we have tons of experience. Um, we've been working on integrating the sites for the last several decades onto these vehicles, as well as, you know, some of these other systems. And so that's what we'll be bringing to the partnership, along with the Rheinmetall capability that they have. And a third gen site will give you the ability to acquire, track, targets under almost all weather, all weather conditions. Yes, I mean that is one of the capabilities is um, being able to perform at exceptional levels out on a dirty battlefield. Yeah. First of all, is it friendly? If not, Yes, exactly. We're looking at various effectors depending on what threats are coming at the vehicle. Um, so our active protection system has the ability to cover 360, which today's current systems only kind of do a 180, if you will, or a donut configuration. Ours can go over the top as well as around the sides, and then we have uh, various effectors that we can put into the canisters.